recording on stage. We are. Oh, we are on our way to Niagara. 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 Okay. Um, it is about a two hour drive from where we live. So we're taking these Jamaican tourists to Niagara to go and look at the waterfalls. And take pictures. And take pictures of the waterfalls. And uh, we're in some traffic on the 401. So you know how we do when we are like driving for super long. We do carpool karaoke yeah. as seen on the James Corden show. Cardone. Cardone. Visiting here from Jamaica for the first time and today we are taking them to Niagara which was on their bucket list of things to do when they come to Canada. So we're going to take them to go and look at the waterfalls. It will be so great and we will take some pictures and we will show you guys. So we're going to ask Lisa Ann a little bit about her trip here in Canada. What did she do? How was it? How much money do you need to have if you're coming here as a visitor? By the way, how much did you put on the visa application what it said one thousand dollars okay yeah that was good and she got approved so tell me a little bit about your visa application process the beginning is um going on google type it in apply to can you apply for Canada visa go on the cic website and say apply online and then create your gc key right when you create a gc key whatever it takes you to your questionnaire proof and we have to upload all the documents and stuff right um one problem that I was having is that it's those those PDF forms that you have to fill out, right? It wasn't so straightforward to download. I had to do some one more rigmarole to get it to read on the computer and fill in all that stuff. So, uh, well, yeah. And then you have to, and then you have to um, upload all your documents, right? And they ask you who you're going to stay with, and ask you how much money you're going to carry with you. And you submit it, so you make a biometrics appointment, you pay biometrics, you give it a passport. It takes you like a week to get back your passport with a visa once you're approved. A week? Yeah, like seven days. To get back your passport? Yeah, once you, you, you submit the passport, for them to put a visa in there, it takes, it takes about seven days to get the passport. No, but the whole entire processing time is not. No, it took me like a month. One month. What's, what does the processing time mean? What do you have? Set the date how long? All right, for, for when I say present time, the date I submitted the application to the date I got back the passport with the visa in there, one month. But all right, so when you submit the application, mm -hmm. then you make your own appointment to do the biometrics. All right, when you submit the application, they send you two letters, right? <laughs> they send you two letters, uh, a confirmation, something, and then like a day, the same day or the next day, they send you your request for biometrics letter. Once you get that letter, you have to download it, print it off, make your biometrics appointment at a VAC center in a online. Country, online. Oh no, you can do it online by phone, by phone, or go to the place in person. You can do it in three ways, right? But it's online is so much easier. Anyways, um, you go and you do your biometrics, right? It's by appointment only. Well, in Jamaica, biometrics is fingerprint and photograph. Yeah, yes, fingerprint and photograph. And then after the biometrics, now they send you a passport submission letter. Once you oh, get that, so you can't leave your passport no, when you do your biometrics. They don't take it. Interesting. They don't take it. So once once you do your biometrics, there, like, but it took Sheldon twelve days to get his passport submission letter. It took me three weeks to take my passport submission letter. Oh, so it was twelve days processing time for Sheldon then? Because you guys told me that it was twelve days for Sheldon's application to be processed, but twelve days to request the passport. Yeah, that's okay. And uh, once you get that passport submission letter, you go back there, give them your passport. You and go back? You have to go back to the VAC, you have to do it in person. You can't carry it to them or you have to carry it to them. Oh, that's different. Their hand. That's different, right? That's different. Okay. Right. You're sure? Yes, because I called because was I was saying, well, I don't know, I don't want to go back to all the police now too. Yeah, that's so terribly inconvenient, there, right? But when I called the, the vaccine, they said, oh no, we don't accept Korea passports, you have to carry it to them in person. So I had to go back and submit it, and then they give you a receipt, and then it took seven days for, for that to be ready. You, they give you they send an email, say that your passport is now ready, ready for pickup. Pick up. What? Then go for it. So that's three times you have to go to the, the yep. center? Mm -hmm. Are you sure? Wow. But right. I went there. Well, that's what that was. That was my experience, right? I don't know if it's changed or if anything else, but that's what I had to do. All right. Well, my recollection. Okay, so both of them 
did it that way. My recollection when I did my student visa application, which was how long? Which was four years ago, five years ago. A long time. Is when I submitted my application, I went to do my biometrics. I don't remember making an appointment, but whatever. And when I was there, you had an option of leaving the passport there or waiting for the request letter. So that's not an option anymore. Interesting. All right. Oh, and then when I did visa, when I did my Canadian visa. I did my biometrics without setting an appointment. I just went in. You just went. The line. Well, exactly. They said no. You cannot show. You can, well, based on the website, you cannot show up without an appointment. Because some people show up without an appointment on that day, and they turn them back. Interesting. So yes. you make the appointment. You go. You go. And, and then your biometrics. And then you have to wait for them to say, "Let us have your passport now." Yes. And you have to go back. You have to go back. To so if you live in Saint Anne, if you live in Saint Anne. You have, you have to either go, go Montego Bay or Kingston yeah. three times. Three times. Once to the passport, want to pick it, drop it off, I want to pick it up. I wonder why. Yeah, we have to all that. Interesting. That's good information right there. Yeah. That's some really good information right there because I didn't know that. And it's unfortunate <laughs> to some extent that they cut out the courier thing because yeah, we have. it's so much more convenient to just courier it and then get it back. Or maybe they were having any problems with people losing their passports. Who knows? Maybe. Hmm. Interesting. All right. All right. And then the cost for the visa. All right. When you uh, was a hundred dollars for the application and eighty five dollars for your biometrics, we pay that one time. Okay. So one hundred and eighty five Canadian dollars. Yes. All right, good, 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 good. That's some good information, right which, there. Uh, which, oh which God. celebrity do you feel like being right now? It's based on the celebrity. So if you feel like being Osho, then we'd sing an Osho song. Sing an Osho. All right. Oh, so no. this is Careful Karaoke up this in here, is and yeah. I am Usher up in here. Just checking in. How y'all doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> which Osho song we're we gonna sing? Oh. What? What is that? No, no, no. Ooh. Yeah, feeling your body from somebody who makes you dream. What about the way that you like me and you go? You act like you're ready, but you don't even know. Pass, you wanna let it go. I've been there, done it all around. After, After all that, that this is what I found. Nobody wants to be alone. If you touch by the words of the song, maybe you got it, you got it back. When you're on the phone, hang up and you call right back. You got it, you got it bad. When you miss a day without your friend, your whole life's off track. Oh, you got it bad when you're stuck in the house. You don't want to have fun. And all you think about is you got it bad when you're out with someone. But you keep on thinking about somebody else got it bad. When you say that you love her and you really know everything that used to matter, don't matter no more. Like my money, I'm a cause. You can have it all, yeah. Flowers, cars, and cash. Candies, you can just call said I'm fortunate to have you girl I want you to know yeah I really adore you all my people who know what's going on thing that you may help me sing my song tell them I'm your girl your mommy I'm gonna tell it to the whole wide world baby sing I'm your girl your mommy promise to love you the best I can see I've been there done it after all that, this is what I found. Nobody wants to be alone. If you touch by the words of the song, baby, you got it, you got it bad. When you're on the phone, hang up and you call right back. Yeah. We're almost at Niagara. Five minutes to Niagara. I don't know what's the first name I'm going to do. Okay, park. Parking, no free down there, you know. I'm going to like paper parking. Hello, here we are at Niagara, checking out the falls. There's a lot of people here on the boardwalk. See people just passing, people passing, people passing. A lot of people trying to check it out. It's right here with these Jamaican tourists who just love the falls. 
but there's more down here than just to look at water. You can go on the Imitation CN Tower. You can go gambling because there's casinos. You can go to the Wax Museum. You can go to IHOP. A lot of stuff to do down here, apart from just going to look at the water. I'd forgotten about that slightly when I told them that we're taking them down here because we're like, we're gonna take you down here to look at the water and take you back home. But a little bit more than that to do. So now we're approaching the big, big falls. And that little one over there, that's the dinky one. That's the baby falls. This is the real one over here. And the closer you get to it, you can feel the mist. Kind of like you're getting a little, you know, damped. Dampened with mist. So you can't even see the falls like good, good because of the mist. Like, alright, so here we go.